Yet again, shooting off solar flares so huge that NASA's cameras could not even capture all of it. Look at that on the screen. Michio Kaku is author of Physics of the Future, How Science Will Shape Human Destiny in Our Daily Lives by the Year 2100, otherwise known as 2100, and professor of physics at City University of New York. How are you doing, sir? Good Very morning good. to you. So on our screen behind us here. Yeah. Show us the flare that you picked up over the weekend. There were two of them, and they're huge. Right, and the Earth is about this big compared to this gigantic solar flare, this hurricane from hell. You realize that the Earth would be incinerated if there was a direct hit because of the enormous size of these things. Fortunately, we're 93 million miles away. Yeah, right on, <laughs> fortunately for that. But there were two, and you can see them blast off the surface of the sun. That's right. We're talking about an enormous ball of hot plasma, about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, shooting it out of space. And fortunately, we dodged the bullet this time. However, one day, we don't know when, if there's a direct hit, it could be like being in the middle of a shooting gallery, and uh, we could suffer a tremendous amount of damage to our satellites and power plants. Is there any way to predict this, or does it just happen and All we, we can observe? say is every 11 years, the sun has a temper tantrum, and we're entering now the next uh, solar cycle. So in the next few months, watch for it. There's going to be daily re weather reports mm. from outer space showing that once again, the sun has sent huge solar flares into space. And once every few hundred years, if it is a direct hit, it could cause property damage 20 times that of Hurricane Katrina. Oh, that's remarkable. Let me get to that in a moment here, because that's a significant thing you said. But next year, we can expect more of these? That's right. This is is a that because of the cycle or what? That's right. Every 11 years, the North Pole and the South Pole of the sun flip releasing a burst of radiation and gigantic bullets of hot plasma are shooting into outer space. And one of these days, one of these bullets could actually hit the Earth. Uh, so so what, what would happen then? I mean, you're going to lose your BlackBerry, and what else are you going to lose? First, we'll lose uh, Fox News. Uh, telecommunications will be knocked out. Satellites will be fried. And again, this is an unlikely event, but power stations could get shorted out. And physicists have estimated property damage at the level of $2 trillion, oh, or about 20 yeah. times the damage of Hurricane Katrina. And these numbers were done by the military and by the American Physical Society. That's remarkable. What was the last time that happened of that magnitude? You have to go back to uh, 1859 or so, the Carrington event, to see uh, an event that huge. But remember, we're very young in the space age. We didn't have satellites back in the 1800s. That's true. And we've only had a few cycles with the space age to worry about. And already power plants have been knocked out in Quebec and other cities because of these solar flares which graze the Earth. But a direct hit, though rare, could be catastrophic. So this was 150 or 160 years ago, and certainly the world is a much different place. That's right. But what happened then? Telegraph How did wires, it affect folks here on Earth? Telegraph wires were shorted out. And you could read the uh, newspaper at night in Cuba with the light of the northern lights. In Cuba, that's how far the northern lights went. And from that, we physicists can estimate, by going backwards, exactly how ferocious that solar flare was. That would have fried all our satellites. Mm, all the, the internet, the mm -hmm. GPS, telecommunications, power plants, your refrigerator, your telephones. We're talking about a complete blackout, not just in one city now, but the entire planet Earth. Oh, wow, great stuff and great analysis, too. And when you see the, the force and the power of this, right. sheer off the sun, it's something else. Thank you, right. Michio. Nice right. to see you again.